Hey guys, welcome back to Ostrich Investing. Uh, today, a little bit of a different video. Uh, we're going to talk about three options trades that I put on recently. Uh, JP Morgan, Microsoft, and Park Hotels. So, quick introduction. You know, I want to continue to pivot this channel a little bit and share more of my actual investments and rationale. Um, Double disclaimer on this video, uh, as you know, this is not investment advice uh, and particularly here options can be extremely volatile. Do your own research, do your own homework, consult with an investment professional, not investment advice. Um, and so for me personally, I don't often trade options, uh, but when I do, uh, I usually look to sell options with inflated implied volatility. We'll talk about that in each of the each of the examples. So the three options trades or three options trades that I made over the last month are selling a JP Morgan na naked put, selling a Park Hotels covered call, and selling a Microsoft covered call. And we'll talk about all three. Disclosure: obviously, I have positions in the above. So let's jump into it. So the first one we'll talk about is JP Morgan, and uh, let me just pull up a few of the bubbles here. There we go. So in July 2020, early July, I sold puts in JP Morgan. And really, this was just a play on the implied volatility for the options. So on July 6, 2020, I sold a $90 strike put to open for $8.75. And so the expiry of that put is January 15th, 2021. So about six months out to expiry, I received eight dollars and 75 cents to sell and i am uh, on the hook for someone being able to put those shares to me at 90 dollars until january 15th 2021 at the time the stock was trading at 94.40 and so at the end of the six months i'm you know if all goes well and the stock is trading at 90 dollars or above i'm going to make 11 percent, and that works out to about 22 percent per annum if you annualize it Downside, I have to be willing to buy the shares uh, at $81.25. So $90 strike less the uh, $8.75 option proceeds that I received. So I'm willing to own the shares at $81.25. And again, the implied volatility on the options is 40%, uh, about 40% when I bought them. And so if you can see on the stock price chart here, you know, I do have some fundamental reasons for liking JP Morgan. Uh, that I'm not going to dive into on this video because we're really just going to talk about the options. Uh, but you can see here over the past few years that for for an $81.25 purchase price, we're really going back to um, 2016 levels. You can see it on the stock price chart here where it gets below $80. So um, the stock has consistently been above that level. Uh, had pre-COVID been up above $130 a share, and I get it. Like we're in a new world here. Um, but my view was that you were getting getting paid handsomely um, in the options market uh, to sell these puts, and I've got the capital set aside. So if if this does get put to me, I'm okay. I'm not I'm not on margin or anything like that. So that's the first one. Second one, Microsoft. And so here, if you recall from a previous video. I did buy Microsoft at the beginning of COVID for 165 or about $165 a share. A little bit early, would have loved to have picked it up down here. I think it got down close to $130. Um, and then it's 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 been a good investment so far. Um, and the stocks performed really well. And on August 3rd, 2020, I sold a call um, covered by the stock that I own. So I sold a September 18th, 2020. $250 strike covered call, and I got a whopping $1.24 uh, per share as a premium. And so here you could see when I did this, the stock price was $214. It was actually right after the weekend where the rumors about them potentially acquiring TikTok uh, came out. The premium that I received was 0.6%, so $1.24 relative to the stock price. Now here, these options are only one and a half months out. So if you if you annualize it, you, you get, it gets a little bit more attractive here if you were to kind of replicate this. Uh, it works out to 4.4% per year. The maximum gain would be $251.24, so up 17%. Uh, 
Um, and again, the implied volatility on these options was again, was in around 40%. Now I think the key point I want to say here is I don't actually want um, to lose my Microsoft shares. And so when I sold this call, there were lots of different strike options, including, you know, uh, 215, 220, 225, 230, 240, you get the idea. I sold them all the way up at 250. Now, obviously, you get less of a premium for that. Only got $1.24 a share. Um, but my hope here is, is to not have these shares called away. Uh, my hope here is to pick up a little bit of a sort of, quote unquote, synthetic dividend. I think I'm getting paid handsomely uh, for that. And my hope is that they expire worthless in the middle of September and I continue to hold my Microsoft shares. So that's number two. Number three, uh, park hotels. And, you know, there's no point having this channel if I'm only going to talk about investments that go well. Um, so this one is definitely one, an investment that I wish I didn't make. Uh, in February 2020, I bought uh, Park Hotels at about $20, I think a little less than $20. Um, and so that was that was stupid. And really, you know, for me, this was an unforced error. So, I mean, it, this was at the, you know, the outset of COVID. And um, I just underestimated, you know, the impact that, that COVID could potentially have and would definitely have on, on Park Hotels business. Um, and so just a miss on, on my part. But... I own the shares and uh, after buying the shares pretty swiftly, uh, they were down, uh, down sub $10 a share. And my view on the fundamentally on the business is that I think, you know, unless thing, this thing stretches out multi years, I think they're going to be fine. They're going to recover. So I'm not a seller of my shares at these levels, but um, do I have one more? There we go. Yeah. So, but in, in July, 2020 realized an opportunity to sell uh, calls. So I sold January 15th, 20, I should say 2021, my apologies. January 15th, 2021, $20 strike covered call for 50 cents. So six months of, of option time period, $20 strike, which is kind of back where I bought them at. So uh, huge. And uh, receiving 50 cents in terms of a, in terms of a premium. So what is what, is, what does that work out to? Five percent premium or eleven percent per year, uh, which is pretty impressive when you look at the strike price, which is all the way back up at twenty dollars. Um, and so, even if it gets called away, I'll be up one hundred and thirteen percent from here. And so I think that's a pretty good a pretty good outcome. Now, obviously, I bought in at twenty dollars, so it would be a wash. But if you told me that um, you know, by January 2021, I'd be selling out of Park Hotels at $20. Uh, that would be a win in my books. And here you can see that the implied volatility was incredible, um, close to 100%. So that's that's the third one. And so conclusion for me, you know, when I use options, I still take a fundamental approach to the underlying business. Uh, so I think about it, you know, whether I like the stock. Um, I use options rarely because typically I'd rather buy the stock you know, versus selling puts like I did with JP Morgan. And I don't typically like to cap my upside. And I always want to make sure that I'm covered. So I, I, I typically uh, make sure that I've, I've really, you know, got enough capital in my account for any potential exposure. Uh, at times, though, I think the implied volatility offers a attractive risk reward, which I think was the case here. And uh, as you can see, I prefer to sell options and benefit from the proceeds into my account as opposed to buy options. That's just my personal choice. So for the trades mentioned in this video, JP Morgan, I mean, my best, my, you know, hopeful outcome is the shares stay above $90, collect the premium, which, which is quite attractive at 11% for six months. You know, think about 22% in a year. Most people would be very happy with that. Um, but the key here is I'm willing to own the shares at 81.25 if, you know, if the share price uh, suffers in, in the next few months here. Microsoft. Uh, my preferred or hopeful outcome is I hope to keep my shares. So that's why I sold way out of the money at $250. And over the next uh, month or so here, you know, the idea is add a small sort of synthetic dividend, kind of put a dollar in my pocket. And uh, hopefully, you know, this option expires worthless. That being said, if the shares do surpass 250 by mid-September, I will have booked a 52% gain on my Microsoft shares in six months. That's not a bad, bad outcome either. 
And lastly, Park Hotels, the unforced error, you know, uh, buying this stock ahead of COVID. But I'm going to hold it through the volatility and the option pricing and implied volatility, I think, offered an extremely attractive um, scenario, particularly for me, who's, who's in at 20. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it does make sense, the high implied volatility when you think about it, because, you know, if we get a vaccine or we, we come to the, the other side of, of COVID here and they open up, this stock price is going to bounce back pretty quickly. So it makes sense to have that sort of volatility priced in. But for me, um, uh, it makes sense. And of course, I'd be thrilled if it hits $20 by January. And if it doesn't, I pocketed, you know, sort of 5% um, in the meantime. Would love to hear your quick thoughts on the stocks in this video. Uh, I might do a follow-up in January and let you know how these, how these trades played out. Uh, that's it for today. Happy investing and don't bury your head in the sand.